Howdy folks, today we want to talk to you about fiberglass roof decks and specifically the repairs we do in the field in the Philadelphia area. Uh, as an intro here, you're enjoying a nice little uh, uh, video of a completed job uh, in Bucks County. And there's that green tea bottle again. It goes up in every video. Uh, as you enjoy this uh, panorama here of a uh, job we did in Bucks County. We're getting ready to show you a video that's not going to be quite as pretty uh, repair work that we have to do, mainly because builders uh, are, are building these buildings in, in the city and providing the fiberglass deck, but they're doing it on the they're doing it on the cheap. Um, they're they're uh, they they got guys in and out. They're not paying them much, and they're doing some things wrong. And we come in and and we fix these errors, and we give you a ten year warranty. Now, first of all, the door pan. The door every house has one. Every door leaks. Some doors have roofs over them and uh, don't see much water. But you have a door jam, and you have a threshold made of a, another material and these are mechanically fastened and there's a joint at the bottom on each side that is going to leak if it gets wet uh, generally the water is never realized until it's time to replace the door sometimes it comes in the floor but when you have a fiberglass deck you have to have a door pan underneath with a drainage plane that allows the water to run out onto the roof uh, that that door pan continues. It's basic, basically a continuation of the roof. Uh, there's no worries about uh, bringing a metal flashing or such uh, or making a thermal break because fiberglass is not going to transfer that cold into the house. Uh, but you need a pan under the door. All too often this is just forgotten. The door guy puts in his door. The fiberglass guy runs his fiberglass up. Everybody caulks and smutzes around and you got problems, uh, usually in the first year or so, especially if they face northeast, which is the predominant wind. Now, uh, some of these installs are just laid up on dirty plywood. What else can I say? Dirty layup. You got dust, you got wood fragments, sawdust, uh, causes uh, raised areas, resin deprivation, where there's not much holding the fiberglass together. So, uh, we resurface these decks, find these voids, these problems, and we fix them. One of the problems you'll see there is a stucco being brought down too close to the roof. I'll talk to you about that in a little bit. Uh, but there's a door right there. Uh, another unique juncture that we run into is where the uh, parapet cap runs into a wall, uh, tight into a wall, and it's sealed, caulked, uh, and, and finished off as if that's going to do something. What you have here is, uh, in this particular situation, and in many of them, your fiberglass runs up the wall, across the uh, the side there laterally, and it leaves the void at the top, but the real consideration of where the water's going is left unresolved. It runs right behind the stucco, right down the wall. That water needs to be let out. Water is going to get in. Water needs to get out. Here's another one. Uh, chisel away the stucco and we make a little pocket there and what we do when we put our door back in after we put the pan in brick mullings up is we fiberglass retrofit the fiberglass right on up to the brick molding create a little pocket there that lets the water out on top of the stucco and out onto the roof where it should go not behind the wall no taping caulking mucking is going to do that for you it's just going to trap water there's one uh, in production there it needs to be sanded and gel coated a little pocket that sends the water out another problem we run into quite often is parapet caps when these are done they're beautiful if they're done right here you got the plywood edge wasn't addressed properly Ply plywood edge is like a sponge soaks in the resin resin deprivation, crack, resulting uh, water intrusion, problems, leaks. This guy got to it soon enough. We're able to fix it without rebuilding it. Um, and rebuilding, sometimes we have to do uh, when, when a leak has occurred and caused major damage if we didn't get to it soon enough. Uh, and we have to remove wood, 
and uh, replace the the substrate and uh, and re glass, feather it in, gel coat it, finish it off. Here's a job where the uh, stucco was taken right down to the roof. That stop bead was nailed right at that critical area where there should have been three plies of glass, which would have been tough to nail through, but the stucco guy nailed right there at that point. Caused leaks all along the perimeter, and we had to cut it out. And when we cut the stucco out, of course, we find rot. Uh, we have to fix the rot, and, uh, you know, in this job, you add in a... Uh, a door pan and you got your work cut out for you. The door's got to come out. Got to do a door pan. This particular job had an e-pay uh, deck, uh, little squares put down. Never was gel coated. Really didn't need to be because it's uh, it was protected from UV light. Three ply stress points, uh, all gel coated in. And then you know when the job is done, it's all flashed in nice deck put back everything's beautiful uh, just a quick video to show you some of the repairs we're doing in the field and if you need our services you know give us a call contact us check out our other videos we got a number of them up online here and uh, thank you for stopping by today have a great day